Hey, what is up, guys? It's Alex Fate here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix your FPS in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. I do have quite a good gaming PC. I have a GTX 1070 and a i5 6600K, which is also overclocked. So I do kind of get decent FPS. However, there is still room to improve. Now, if you guys are watching this video, you're most likely going to be wanting to know how you can get more FPS. So that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so all you want to do is start up Steam to Player Knows Battlegrounds, go to Properties, and go to Set Launch Options. Now, I'm going to have these in the description, so just go and copy and paste these into your launch options okay and now what you guys want to do is go and download cc cleaner cc cleaner is pretty much a really great tool that a lot of people use to keep their pc like clean. and it really just gets rid of like irrelevant files that are on your computer that you just really don't really need it obviously it doesn't delete anything of your like personal files it just gets rid of unnecessary shit that's on your pc now as soon as you've downloaded cc cleaner you just want to click on an analyze and click on run cleaner and then go to applications and run and yeah and now go to the registry and scan and just click on fix all issues and now what you want to do is come here to the uninstall tab and just search through here and anything that you don't need or you just think oh i don't know why that's on here and that's just shit so you just want to delete it so as you scroll through here, just kind of delete anything that's really irrelevant that you have on your PC. Okay, and now you just want to type into your Windows search bar msconfig. And here we have the uh, system configuration. And you pretty much just want to copy these settings that I have here. Also go to the boot and make sure this is no GUI. On, and also put the timeout to zero. Okay, and now just go to advanced options and make sure your number of processors are on four, which is obviously make sure it's on the maximum amount of processors. Mine is four. And then once that's done, just click on OK. And after you've done that, just click on apply and OK. Okay, and now you just want to go to where you have Windows installed and search for a folder called temp. And now you just want to delete everything that's in here and just click on uh, do for all and skip and just delete everything that's in there. Also, go to prefetch and delete everything that's in there. I don't have anything in there because I've just gone and deleted all of these things in these folders. So yeah, just go and do that. Okay, so now all you guys want to do is go onto your files and go onto your C drive, right click, go to properties and click on disk cleanup and select everything in this folder and click on OK and just let that run okay and now just search for services and once you're on the services you just want to go to background intelligence and make sure that that is on automatic okay and now you just want to search through this folder and search for super fetch and make sure that that is turned off it's right here and i have it disabled you just want to right click and you just want to go here and make sure that you go to properties and make sure it's on disabled and click on apply and okay and now you just want to search for your control panel and once you're on there just go to system and security go to system to advanced system settings and go to performance and make sure this is on adjust for best performance and now just go back and go to power options and make sure this is on high performance okay so now what you guys want to do is just make sure that your GPU drivers are fully up to date whether you have a Nvidia graphics card or an AMD graphics card just go to the link I have in the description and come here to for AMD users automatically detect and install drivers go and install the latest update for your GPU and also for Nvidia users go and update your GPU okay so now you guys just go and start up PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds and we're gonna go and change some of our settings. I'm gonna show you. Okay, guys, so as we come on to Plerano's backgrounds, all you're gonna do is go up to your settings, go to your graphic settings, and put your screen mode into full screen windowed. Now, it's still pretty much the exact same as full screen. However, if you decide you wanna alt tab, you'll pretty much be able to alt tab back into the game quicker. And also don't like downscale your resolution because it really doesn't increase your FPS. And as we come down to our graphic settings, you can see I've all of mine just set to high, but that was just by default. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to set our graphic settings to medium and we're going to customize these so that it makes the game look good. Okay, so anti-aliasing we're going to leave on medium, first processing we'll leave on medium, shadows we're going to turn down to low, textures I'm going to put mine on high, effects I'm going to put mine on high, foliage I'm going to put on low and view distance I'm going to put it on ultra. Now, that's just because I can run that on my PC. However, if you guys don't have such a great PC, what I would advise you to do is just come here to this tab and put your settings on either medium or low. Also, all I'm going to say is whether you have the best PC in the world or the worst PC in the world, having all of your settings on ultra and getting like 40 FPS is really just pointless. Now, if you go and put your settings onto medium and have some of them on low and some of them on high and you manage to get a solid 60 FPS while playing the game, you're really going to see a massive improvement in your gameplay. So whatever you do, just try and edit these settings until you have 60 FPS. Now, if you have followed the tutorial before we have came and edit these settings here on PUBG, now you should be getting uh, quite decent FPS in game. Put a little bit of gameplay at the end of this video. So thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace. Okay guys, so here I'm in game and as you can see, my game does look quite good. Now I'm on a solid 60 FPS and I'm obviously recording. Even if I was to go live stream and so on, my graphics would still be on pretty much around 60 fps which is pretty much like the sweet spot for pubg well that's for me anyway while i'm recording videos and so as you can see my game does look quite good uh, i'm on a solid fps so i'm just going to show you a few kills from in this game that i got this is the game that i pretty much went and played the second i changed my set I just need to try and make it to the circle, like super quick. If there's no one camping that bridge there, because I could be uh, I did see a boat, I probably should have took the boat, but it's going to take me longer to go and get in the boat and turn around and start driving than it is to just run to the edge of the circle. I do think I see a car there, so that could mean there is someone camping this bridge. So they need to move shortly as well, so if there is anyone camping the bridge, I'm just hopefully going to be able to kill them. Not that, that might suck. I do hear a car coming up behind me as well. I hope this video helped you guys, if it did be sure to let me know down in the comment section also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like the video. So thanks for watching and peace out. I mean I blew the car up on him and everything. Fucking bitch. If we sell a little bit high, a little bit low. But I'm all in